sub pedals of the pedal tone range, sub pedal pedal tones, is the fifth tier of pedal tones, kind of like no man's land. Um, it's really hard to put specifics on this particular tier of pedal tones, like the first four tier, uh, first four tiers have. You know, tier one, tier two, tier three, and tier four pedal tones all have their agenda. There are all a specific reason that you're working on those. They each have a specific dynamic level to practice, and they all have um, a certain level of difficulty or easiness, and they all have a different kind of timbre. But it's the fifth tier, or the sub-pedal tones, that all the way down to triple pedal C, which you heard me do just um, a couple of seconds ago. It's like the last frontier on no man's land, and over all these years, I don't have any specific agenda in practicing below tier four. So tier four ends at the low double pedal G flat. That's the end of tier four, which is a real valuable tier to practice. In fact, I already have another tutorial on YouTube about that. But once you start going below that, um, even after all these years, I haven't really developed um, exactly what would be we would be working on uh, the sub pedals for, except the the thing that stands out and is obvious is flexibility. I mean, the um, opposite of a good trumpet player or a good brass player, um, the hindrance to endurance and range and tone and sound is inflexibility or brittleness of the lips or stiff lips. And so it stands to reason if you practiced at least a little bit in the sub pedals below the fourth tier, um, that would increase the flexibility of your lips. And if inflexibility and stiff itis and brittleness is kind of like the arch enemy of brass playing, well then added flexibility can only benefit you. And so I'm not going to pretend and lie to you guys that I do this every day because I don't. But I will be honest, I do go through the, the um, no man's land of pedal tones maybe once a week, sometimes twice a week. And what I found is if you try to go through with the correct valve positions, um, sometimes it's hit or miss. Now, going through the correct valve positions in the first four tiers is mandatory and essential. Um, going through them in no man's land and tier five all the way down to triple pedal C is um, hit or miss. I found um, that just using one, two, and three for all the pedals in the fifth tier all the way down to the triple pedal C um, is, makes things a little bit easier. So you can try to get like some of the triples out with the valves of the correct valve combination like the triple pedal F. <laughs> It came in, but it was a little bit bumpy. Or you can do it one, two, and three. It just seems like it locks in a little bit better. Um, treble pedal E. Like a ham radio you're trying to tune in, but if you do it with one, two, and three, note how, notice how it locks in and actually gets kind of a full rounded sound down there. Um, so down to E flat. That one locked in, that was a triple pedal E flat, D. It locked in, but it was like hitting speed bumps. And triple pedal D flat. Okay, and then you've already heard the triple pedal C. Now, did you notice I'm using a different embouchure? You did? You didn't? You did? 
You didn't. You didn't notice. Well, go back and rewatch this video. I am using a different embouchure to accommodate these. In fact, um, even some of the bigger courses that I incorporate the pedal tone and that structure in the overview, I talk about using your normal embouchure for Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, but on Tier 4, you do have to switch your embouchure. You do have to switch your embouchure. And what happens is you end up, wherever you put your mouthpiece, you're going to be sliding in up way high, having a tilt, dropping your jaw, and getting out um, um, the fourth tier pedal tones. Same thing with what I was just doing then. I wasn't using my normal embouchure before for just normal playing. I was um, really dropping the jaw. Dropping the jaw does what? See that lips? Pulls your lips down. So it widens out your aperture. Slows down the air, right? Slows down the air. We need slow air a slow airspeed get the, the low frequency and low vibration pedal tones especially the sub pedals and then at the one point you probably saw the bottom rim of the mouthpiece was almost sitting on my bottom lip you see that there was no bottom lip in the mouthpiece so i get students all the time that are having difficulty going down below let's just say starting in tier um three, but really tier four, they can't get anything to come out because they're still trying to play like this, you know, with their normal embouchure and both flips right into the mouthpiece. So that's one tip for you trumpet players um, about getting some of the sub pedal tones. So you're not going to be able to use your normal embouchure. So this tutorial was about the no man's land of pedal tones or sub pedal tones on the trumpet. Um, I'm not an expert on pedal tones on bass trombone and trombone and tuba. However, French horn um, is very similar to trumpet. You can hit some of those pedal tones. In fact, some of the pedal tones on French horn um, are actually real notes, like um, the pedal F on French horn, you know, trigger open if you're playing a double horn. So trigger open, that's a pedal F, but that's a, that's, um, a note that will lock in on the, pe on, on the French horn. But you can actually still continue to go down in the pedal tones, although uh, my expertise on pedal tones happens to be on this guy. Drop it. So again, to recap, give it a shot. You know, uh, test out your flexibility and the responsivity of your lips and the flexibility and how um, adaptable and malleable your lips are. Um, we want our lips, I don't think they can ever be too flexible for the most part. Um, we want that into the spectrum. We don't want stiff, rigid brittleness and flexibility on the other end of the spectrum is bad for most brass players so there you got it and if you've never heard of triple pedal c rewind this video i think i did it once or twice uh, it's very very <laughs> difficult to get and um, i would recommend the all valves down to see if you can get the triple pedal c i gotta raise my hand and confess i've never gotten below the triple pedal c on trumpet never 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 got the the um the uh, triple pedal B natural never came out. So triple pedal C is the lowest I've ever been able to go. And um, I'm happy with that. Hope you enjoyed this advanced tutorial trumpet lesson on the sub pedals of the pedal tone tiers, tier five. Bye bye for now. Hi, I'm Kurt Thompson and welcome to my channel. That's youtube.com slash your brass instructor. Thanks for just watching the video that you did. Maybe it's the first one that you've watched, or maybe you've watched tons of my videos. In fact, as of June 2016, as a brass player and trumpet player, I have the most tutorials free on the planet. I have over 600 videos on my YouTube channel currently all free. So again, thanks again for watching this video. I hope that you got something out of it. Sometimes I make a video just to make you laugh. A lot of times I make a video to educate you on something and maybe even help solve a problem. So I hope something like that occurred for you in this video. And while you're at it, again, subscribe, click on my website link, and go on to the next video. It's lovely out here. Have a great day.